everybody, I'm Sean Swiley, a producer on SSX. My area is the game of presentation, campaign, and characters. So the characters of SSX aren't necessarily changing. They're being evolved and updated to match the new challenges that are going to be in this game. A lot of new adventures for the characters, and a lot of that's going to be around the gear and what they're wearing. I'm going to show you where we were in the past with the characters and where we're going now. We have SSX, Tricky, 3, On Tour, and Blur. And here's the lineup of the characters. And as you can see, they've all gone through their different variations, from wearing t-shirts on the mountain, to crazy kind of clothes and afros and the whole bit. Now I'm going to hand you off to Ron who's going to talk about Elise Riggs, one of my favorite characters, and explain the process we go through to take her from where she was into what she's going to be in this new game. I'm Ron Bignall, art director on this franchise, and I'm just going to take one of the characters here and run you through sort of a process in terms of how we're evolving our characters. It's uh, about staying true to the franchise and uh, bringing the SSX IP characters of the old and bring them into the uh, SSX of the future. And there's a, a flavor that's going on here which is more about believable gear, uh, believable wardrobe, to enable the characters to uh, you know, exist and do their best in this more of a, of, a, of a rough, natural world. Over here, just a few small images from SSX, SSX Tricky, SSX 3, On Tour, and Blur. And you can see she's been remained very consistent. I think the artist, depending on who the character lead was, probably had a little bit of anatomical fun in terms of her build, but uh, that's what character artists do. These images here is the uh, current concept art that we're working with in terms of uh, evolving a lease. This gives you kind of a look at the process we go through. I mean, you can just tell from a, from a build and proportion she's uh, very true to where she was. I mean, we're not, this is not a simulation sports game. This is not anatomically correct models. This is you know, sort of superheroes in a snowboard, so we're pushing proportions pushing scale and well that is there to support you know the over-the-top gameplay and the exaggerated worlds that they live in. So that's it for uh, taking a look at the concept art and the process we go through to create our IP characters. Let's take a look at uh, Mike Christensen's work. He's our character modeler lead and uh, see Elise in game. All right so I'm gonna go through a few uh, quick steps on uh, how she was created. The first, uh, the first step is getting the concept and then from the concept really getting a sense of uh, proportion and, and, and scale of, of the character. Here we're just showing a quick demo of the, of the base meshes, which, which where you start from. Once that step's done, we get into a software package where it's more all about the, the detailing, things like wrinkles, materials, pore detail. Once all the high resolution details are done, what we do is we bake them down to textures and then apply that to the game mesh. 